Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this neat little project that lights up three different colored LEDs in sequence. It's going to be using an Uno R3 board along with your Arduino software. Some of the other items that will be used in this project are three different colored LEDs. You could choose the colors, here I'm using yellow, blue, and white. You'll need three 220 ohm resistors, four jumper wires of your color choice, here I'm using yellow, orange, white, and green, and of course you'll need your Uno R3 board, your power cable, and a computer that is set up running Arduino. All right, so mainly in this video I'm going to show you how to wire this up, and then in the description below the video there'll be a link for you to download the, the sketch, the code, that will operate this project. All right, so let's start with the LEDs. I set them up in column D, so starting with the yellow light here, the, the negative lead, which is the shorter of the two wires coming out of the LED, is in slot D1, and the positive lead is in slot D2. For the uh, blue LED, that is in slot D5, and the positive is in slot D6. And the white LED, the negative is in slot D10, with the positive in slot D11. Then on rail E, I have a 220 ohm resistor coming out of slot E1 and going to the negative rail. I have a second 220 ohm resistor coming out of slot E5 and going to the negative rail. And a third 220 ohm resistor coming out of slot D10 and going to the negative rail. I have a yellow wire running from slot E2 into the UNO board into slot 11. An orange wire goes from slot E6 to the UNO board in slot 12. The white wire goes from slot E11 into slot 13 on the UNO board. And then we have a green ground wire running from the negative rail of the breadboard into the ground slot on the UNO board. All right, so now we're going to power this up. And uh, I already have the code up and running on my computer and uploaded to my board, so Here's what it should look like when it's operating. Now what I really like about this project for beginners is that the code is pretty easy to rewrite. If you just want to change some of these values here, these 200 values and these 300 values to higher or lower numbers, then that's going to change the duration that these LEDs turn on and off. Well, there you go. I hope you think this project is neat and that you have time to give it a try. Also take the time to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll keep projects coming as long as people are watching.